pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 4, Frequencies and Meaning Everything in the universe is energy. All energy vibrates. The way that meaning shapes energy is by causing a certain frequency that forms the energy into matter or circumstance. It forms it in the same way that a certain frequency will form a musical note or form the color red. In music, we listen to a certain range of frequencies that we can hear. In that range, a certain frequency will form a certain sound that we can actually hear. A combination of frequencies together will form a song. In the light spectrum, there are a certain range of light frequencies that we can see. If the light is in a certain frequency, we see red light. If it is a combination of different light frequencies, we see a picture. If we have a certain combination of light frequencies in combination with sound frequencies, we can watch a movie of an event or the actual event as it is happening. It is all a matter of different frequencies in combination. It's important to understand how frequencies added together create a new single frequency that is made up of a combination of other frequencies. In the video example below, is a visual demonstration of how a sound frequency can form a shape and pattern out of a pile of rice. It is only the sound frequency that is acting on the rice. Frequencies have a powerful ability to form energy into everything from matter to situations. Video example. Frequency creates shape. What is this video about? The first demonstration is by a device sitting on a table. It is a vibrational device that has a sheet of metal sitting on top of it, which is about 18 inches by 18 inches square. They pour quite a bit of rice on top of the sheet of metal before they started vibrating. Naturally, as you would expect, the rice is just in piles randomly poured over the sheet. As they turn on the vibrating device to a certain frequency, it transmits the vibration to the sheet of metal and an interesting thing happens. The rice begins to form patterns over the metal. Where the rice accumulates is the place where the frequencies meet and cancel each other out. They are the nodal lines where an up frequency meets a down frequency and end up canceling each other out completely and equally causing a quiet area where the rice can remain without being vibrated all over the place. The other areas where two up frequencies or two down frequencies meet become very noisy and are the place of extreme vibration. No rice can remain in that very vibrational place long. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. What does this video example show and what does it mean? What this video example shows us is that frequencies have the ability to cause formations and patterns. Every bit of matter in the universe is made of energy that has a certain vibration. Each certain vibration creates a certain thing. Vibrations are what form energy into the different elements and particles that the universe is made of. This example shows that a certain vibration will form a certain pattern in the rice. As the vibration was changed to different frequencies, 
it resulted in different patterns. Video example. Frequency creates three-dimensional shape. What is this video about? This video shows a low-frequency speaker with a cornstarch mixture. As it vibrates, the cornstarch begins to take a three-dimensional shape by rising up into the air. This shows that even a sound frequency has the ability to form and shape matter if the conditions are right. This is the explanation that was posted with the video. Quote, cornstarch is a sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluid meaning that it becomes more vicious when it is disturbed. When it's hit repeatedly by something like a speaker cone, it forms weird tendrils. The video was shot at 30 frames per second, and the speaker cone was vibrating at 30 hertz, which is why there's no blur. This is the original video with the actual sound of the speaker. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. What does this example show and what does it mean? This video example shows that a sound frequency can not only create a two-dimensional pattern, like we saw with the rice, but can actually create a three-dimensional form as well. Of course, these frequencies are very low frequencies at the sound level. The actual frequencies that form matter and are the basis of creation are outside our ability to notice them. Just like infrared light frequencies, we know that they exist, but we can't see them. Frequency is the genius of creation. I've always found that the simpler a concept or design is, the more intelligent it is. Using frequencies to shape energy is the genius of creation. It is so simple and yet so powerful. However, you just don't realize how amazingly intelligent and powerful it is until you give it some serious thought. Consider the picture of the rice pattern above. Look at it very closely for a moment. Pretend that you are talking to a friend by phone and you want to describe this pattern so that your friend is able to recreate the same pattern with some rice. How would you begin to describe this pattern? Would you have to measure it in inches or millimeters? Where should the lines be thicker and thinner? Exactly how thick or thin should the lines be? How would you describe the arching curves and where they begin and end? What language would you use? What words would you use? Flowing, arching, curving, connecting, enclosing, separating? It is such a simple pattern and yet it is so difficult to describe and replicate exactly. Yet, the universe can recreate that pattern every time again and again just by using a certain frequency. It is so much easier to transmit a frequency that describes an object or a situation than it is to use any other method. It works so well because the entire universe is energy. And that's the one thing that energy is really good at, vibrating. Can you imagine the universe having to describe over and over again how to make a hydrogen atom or a water molecule in any other way? Instead, if you want an oxygen atom, just use the frequency pattern that means oxygen. It's like the fact that you can be defined by the pattern of your DNA. Your DNA is the physical expression of a certain frequency that means you. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 4, Segment Number 2. Let your quest for knowing continue.